Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room and today I am beyond excited to share with you um, one of our new kits um, and it is a planner. Now I live and die by my planner, I don't know what I would do without it and I am just adoring the Love Today planner from Stampin' Up. Um, it is going to be so useful for me in my life and in my business, but there are lots and lots of ways that you can use a planner too um, that I would like to share with you. So let me start off by showing you um, in the catalogue, you're looking at page 12 and 13, and you can see everything that comes in this planner. So you get 12 um, monthly pages, you get all your weekly pages, you get a lovely bookmark, you get um, thicker divider pages with tabs on for each month. Um, these nice organiser pages go at the front of your month, which is really nice. Um, we've got little pockets. We've got little photo pockets. You get three of these. So you can put little photos. Um, you also get three little packs of post-it notes, um, three packs of stickers and three packs of gold stickers as well. And all of that comes together for just £33. That is amazing value. My previous planner used to cost me £70. So I am so excited about this. Um, even better, it comes with a refill bundle. So at the end of the year, you or the end of your year, you can um, just buy the refills, which includes absolutely everything, new tabs, new everything. The only thing it doesn't include is the binder itself. So you can carry on using that as just £24. So that is an amazing um, price compared with most planners that are on the market. So that's exciting. But let me actually show you the real thing. So here it is, my lovely Love Today planner. Um, this is the same size as our Memories and More folder, just about. It's kind of, um, the actual size of it is sort of similar to an A5 size. So if you're familiar with an A5 Filofax size, you can see it's just a smidge shorter. It's a just a smidge um, wider on there. The actual pages are the same width. And as I say, I would say just a, a half an inch shorter at the top. Um, but actually, <laughs> Filofax pages will fit in there as well, just in case you were wondering. But who needs Filofax pages when you've got the lovely, um, the lovely pages? Let me take you through. So I will just show you June. You can see I'm already using mine. It's all set up. Um, the first thing about it is, yes, I'm starting in May here because it's undated, which it means that you can start any time of the year, whatever works for you, and then you can keep it rolling. So I tend to work up to 18 months ahead. That means I can just keep on putting another month in and another month in for a refill kit, but also taking out the months I've used so that I don't have to keep carrying around more of my planner that I need. And um, we do extra folders. Um, you can use our memories and more folders, um, or you can buy yourself an extra set of planner um, and actually have a, um, a file to keep those in if you want to keep them bound somewhere. Okay, moving on. So we have this starter page. I really like this because it can, you can break that down and use how, it how you wish. We've got some grid, we've got some open coloured decorated pieces and we've got a list page there so you could do monthly to-dos or something like that if you wanted to. Then we open up and we have our full monthly spread. Now this is really nice for planning what your month looks like. You can see mine looks busy with lots of classes and, and things to do. Um, so you can actually lay out your birthdays, your special events, um, when, which days you're working, for example, or when your, um, your classes and, and the things that you want to do are. So that's what that's there for. We've also got a notes piece and an extra little grid piece down the bottom where you can put some extra notes. Moving on, we then have our week to view. So this will go through all the way through. Everything you'll notice has got this blue spotty, see if I can hold that up so you can see that, has got this blue spotty piece. Now, um, one thing I really love is the quality of this paper. And let's see if I can 
flick it for you to see. It is thick. Why is it thick? Because we're stamping up and you can stamp in our planners. Hooray! I've done lots of testing with this. Um, so yeah, all of our inks, including archival, you can stamp in these planners. So I am super excited about that. And why do we need to stamp? We need to stamp with tabs for everything. It's got all sorts of useful things for your planner. It's got little, um, it's got remember, but it's also got little remembering elephants. <laughs> and it's got um, cakes and it's got crowns, um, which are two-step stamping if you want. It's got this little um, shopping trolley, which I adore shopping carts around the world. Shopping trolley in the UK. Um, and then we've got to do a note and don't forget and date and um, all sorts of others, do today, party. So lots of things that you might want to stamp in a planner. And yes, we can, which is fantastic. So excited about that. Um, I I use my planner very, very functionally, as you can see. I, I'm not so, so much dec about decorating it. Um, I'm more about having... Um, it work for me. So I do have some little um, extras in there that I've made, little labels and things that I've made. Um, but, you know, you can do this exactly as you want it to be. Let me show you. These are some funny little pages that I did. You can laugh at these along with me. So here's one that's a decorative page. Now, obviously, you can have this however you want. But if you want to have this as a kind of an art journal, remember that you can use Use those inks on there you can use it any way you like and I've put some die cuts in here another thing that I tested is we can use our water um, our watercolor crayons will work our watercolor pencils will work just fine with a blender pen probably wouldn't suggest an aqua painter but the blender pen worked beautifully in there um, and as I say you can stamp with archival ink as well and this paper will hold up because it is so thick um, so it's lovely. I recommend Snail as an adhesive for going into a planner um, because we're going paper on paper. It's a, it's a nice adhesive to use. This is one of our gold stickers. So you get three sheets of these. Now I don't know how well you can see that. And they are punched so that you can pop them in the back. And lots of them are layered like this one here. So you can actually take off individual layers and just pop those out. While I'm on the subject of stickers, we also have three sheets of these um, lightweight stickers. So these are, um, we've got little frames. And again, they're all layered, so you can just take out the pieces that you, um, if you, you want. Okay. Moving on, there's all sorts of ways that you can use this for journaling. You could use it as an exercise journaling, uh, for exercise journaling. You could use it for gratitude journaling. Um, there are 365 day prompts that you can find online. So you can journal about a different thing each day and your thoughts on it. Um, you can use it for um, memory journaling, remembering things that you've done. Or you can use it as a traditional diary and just of what's going on in your life. So lots and lots of different ways to use this. Let me take you right to the back here. And I will just show you. So again, you have these little pockets. Now, they're designed for photos, but I've put some um, some of the um, little post-it notes and also some of my extra labels that I've made for my classes um, in there. Um, it does also come with these cute little pockets. And here we go. I've got some business cards in that one. And I've got some little um, cards and things in this one here. So they're quite a nice size. Um, but, of course, when you've got a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, it doesn't stop there because we can show you all sorts of things. We can show you how to use Window Sheet to make an additional bookmark that you can pop in. Isn't that great? And I should say, actually, the one that comes um, with the planner, let me just flip that back, is this one here. And that also pops in and out. That is designed so you don't have to keep undoing the rings. But equally, if you want to put something in, you can undo the rings. So your Stampin' Up! demonstrator could show you how to make a little envelope, which pops in. Like so. Or she could show you how to make, there's another one of my 
another one of my additional um, bookmarks that I made as you can show you how to make a little folder either out of designer paper or in this case if you want something a little bit um, thicker you can make it out of cardstock and stamp on it. Your, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and that could be me, can also give you some tips on actually setting your, your planner up at the beginning. Um, it comes in a... Um, the, all the inserts come separately in a pack, so you just layer them up, but there are instructions as well that you get as to how to put your planner together. And then you can go ahead and decorate with some of those beautiful gold stickers. Each of the months um, has a different... Um, design on that month cover and you can see these are quite thick and glossy and it all coordinates with the Stampin' Up! colours and you'll see in the catalogue they're actually listed out and they do include the new um, lemon lime twist colour which I'm absolutely loving. Um, the only thing I will say I've added is I've added a little pen loop onto mine. You could pop your pen on the um, on the top, but I prefer to have a pen loop, so I just got that from Amazon. So you can just add a little pen loop if you would like to. As you can tell, I am super, super excited about this new um, line from Stampin' Up. I really hope you want a planner too to get yourselves organised or to um, keep your memories in. And I would highly recommend the planner. If you would like to buy it from me, I would be delighted about that too. And you can find me, um, look down at the bottom and you can find some links direct to my online store. Or you could go to elizabethscraftroom.blogspot.com and see some more um, about the planner and also about all the other things in the new Stampin' Up! catalogue. So from a very excited Elizabeth's Craft Room, thanks for visiting today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.